and welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Last time I was being a sneaky snake and it wasn't working, so I've got to be an even sneakier snake. Sneaky snake, sneaky snake, does whatever a sneaky snake does. Can he snake? He's a snake. So you bet your ass. Look out. Here comes the sneaky snake. So, gotta be better at opening doors. So, sneaky snake is running. Well, I guess it didn't need to be Stinky Snake. It's not following me now. No, you can't climb ladders. They can't climb ladders, right? They totally can't climb ladders. Can they? There's never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up down the road, or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? In this game, probably. <laughs> okay. Four doors. One so I cracked open. Won't budge. Three doors. Opens. Two doors. Case. I'll light this torch, let myself know I was here, and this one. This one's a dead end with Tinder. So Tinder. There's a lot of Tinder. I guess I'll go down the creepy tunnel. This looks like a puzzle! Like, already? Didn't I just get through a series of puzzles? Okay, I guess I gotta read the note and know what the puzzle is. 9th of August, 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Silly, silly Daniel. Trusting the word of a creepy guy who lives in a castle when he tells you to kill someone. Something must be wrong with the machinery, huh? Like, 
Hmm, but I'm right here. The puzzle's right here. Why can't I solve the puzzle? <sighs> Dead end. The non-budging door. So, I guess that leaves me with only one option. Going down the creepy stairs. more than enough tinder. I can probably start just lighting this place up. Gotta improve the atmosphere. There's a door. But I'm not done lighting this place up yet. This shall be my new room of safety. If something creepy happens, I can retreat into here. I've got it nice and lit up so I don't need to keep my lantern out. Crystal clear. A few cuts and bruises. Not anymore. Of course. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? The non answer means no. Laboratory. Dexter's in there. Because he wasn't in the other laboratory. That's disturbing. What? Right. So there's something to do up there. Not touching the creepy dead guy. I've got machines working, which means I might be able to solve that puzzle. Because puzzles take priority over creepy guys. Running up the stairs, running up the stairs, running up the stairs. Keep going up the stairs. Don't get stuck. Stuck on the stairs. Keep running, keep running. We're gonna solve the machine puzzle. Not sure what I did. But I did something. S 
Slow frame rate again. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. What are you talking about, Alexander? You're just a creepy old guy. <laughs> okay, now I can deal with this creepy body over here. What? The switch? Next to me. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Daniel? Likes a prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my. So Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is. I don't care what you're saying. Daddy, I hate to bother you further, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? Oh, with all those spikes Anything around you, dude. Ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he is working on a way to help me. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Guess you wrote it down as a note, so I'm gonna do it. Left. Center, right. Torch. Torch. Torch that way, gate that way. Nothing this way. I guess I'll go this way. Right is right after all. I guess I gotta go right some of the time. I'm cutting close on time. Tinder. So I shall read the note and that other thing next time. See you later.